Hi all, today is New Year's Eve. And as you might know, sometimes, forget my collar, sometimes weather can dictate our content, you know, as, as a creator. So today's kind of wet and soggy. It's actually warming up. It's going to be over 60 degrees today here in Charlotte. So yeah, but uh, I wanted to take you up to Mooresville to look at uh, some places we've been. We're gonna, we're gonna go antiquing basically. Uh, we're gonna go up there and check it out. Maybe we'll find some cool stuff. I wanna show you something that Connie got me for Christmas. Check those out. New vans. Yeah, eyeballs on them. And they glow in the dark. I thought they were so cool. I love Connie. She gets me some cool stuff. Yeah, I just love these shoes. They glow in the dark, too. I don't know if I said that. Oh. Yeah. This is why we're doing inside stuff today. Check it out. Just ultra cloudy. And it's starting to rain. Sprinkle a little bit. But we're here in Mooresville. And I don't know if I've been here with you guys before. But this is Lake Norman Antique Mall. And it was converted. Looks like an old grocery store at one time. And now, yeah. Now it's an antique mall. So I'm going to go in there and see what they might have today and as you walk in antique goodness galore all kinds of vintage toys vintage furniture there's that winnebago right there <laughs> i wish i got one and i do i need to bring it out sometime show you all that i do have one but yeah i love this little antique mall oh check these out these old magazines right here old conan i love these classics here i used to collect those when i was a kid um i might still have some but yeah, we're just going to walk around and see some of the cool vintage goodness. Check him out. Is that Beaver? That's Jim Beam right there. That's a liquor bottle. And that's 26 bucks. I'll check out the old Coca-Cola glass and Pepsi glass. Get both and just, you know, support both of them. And uh, you got these singing guys here. <laughs> but um, I remember, I'm sure your grandmother or your aunt or somebody had those in the house. Um, and I love the old cameras too. I got a decent collection of them um, somewhere in storage. But, uh, yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, look at that old uh, Colosseum photo in Rome right there. It's pretty cool. And uh, right now, they're having a lot of after Christmas sales in here. So, we're going to check out all the booths. And I love just little things like this little Mickey Mouse. He's five for him. You know, stuff like that I like to buy. And then you also got uh, Fred Flintstone. I'm guessing he's a bank. Yeah, he's a bank. And he's eight dollars. I love Fred. And these are Rising Stars action figures. And this is the Patriot here. These came out around the year 2000. He's pretty interesting. It looks like you can customize him too. And then check him out right there. He's pretty neat. The Bastard Jugulator. Pretty cool. You can get that old wooden statue. I think that's John Lennon. I think it is. I don't know where the other Fab 3 are to go with the Fab 4. Right there. Yeah, he's got all kinds of cool stuff in here. Check out all these uh, racing cars. In this old vintage laser ray. He's $12.95. And a lot of comic books down here. And check out all the figures in here. You get to like, thumb through them all. You got a lot of the old uh, Toy Biz figures, stuff like that. Yeah, these are neat. And there's some Spawn. And Fantastic Four. That Dr. Doom's pretty cool. Right there. You got some Spider-Man right here. Craven. Yeah, Craven's pretty cool. You got Craven. He's got, there's a Peter Parker right there. And there's a, who was that? Vulture. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And out of this old vintage Santa Claus. He's kind of scary too at the same time. Looks like he's got a zipper up there. I guess maybe he's like a stocking. You put stuff in him also. Pretty neat. Let's see. And... Don't really say what year. Let's say about this one. So he's forty-five dollars. Yeah, the fifties. Some more vintage Santa Claus stuff. I, I love these old books here. These are cool. Those are probably from the fifties too. Yeah, check that out right there. Eighteen for that. I just love the covers. It'd be kind of cool putting a frame. Put it in your house for you know hanging on the wall during Christmas time. Old Pez's right here. Very nice. And there you go. 
lots of more vintage pennant Christmas lights. Those are so cool. We had a slew of those growing up. Don't know what happened to them, but these are still in the package. And check out this blow mold right here, this little soldier. He's pretty cool. Those are going back in style too. He's got an old uh, handy Andy tool set right there too. This is Victorola right here. Check it out. And it's from the 1922-1925 era. And uh, it's not bad. Check out the price right there. 150 bucks to 160 maybe when they were maybe when they were new but now yeah that's definitely a collector's item man i just love these little shelves here just filled with uh vintage retro stuff yeah this is great there's another old mickey right there he's pretty cool check out the uh trash can really neat and look at this <laughs> that's pretty cool ranch phone is that what it said yeah ranch phone is it made out of tin? That's pretty cool. I, just, I love this stuff. You can just spend all day just picking through all this. Like this old guy here, this old vintage chimp. He's pretty neat. Let me see how much he is. He's 24, but he's definitely probably 40s, 30s or 40s era. And I like this little pup here. Pretty neat. Little poodle. He's 35, 1950s here. Man, these are great. You know, I love this old Mountain Dew 10 ounce bottle right here. The old graphics on there is great. It's like 35 for this bottle. There he is right there. <laughs> so awesome. He's got his, his corn pipe right there. Yeah, these are awesome. Look at some more bottles here. So if you're a big bottle collector, definitely, you need to go to your antique stores. You're going to find all kinds of bottles. You know, the old Aunt Jemima right there. Quaker Oats, old Quaker Oats canister right there. Man, these are great. You got this whole drum set right here for $270. That's not too bad right there. If you want to get into drumming, you know, learn how to drum. And just all kinds of miscellaneous stuff in this booth here. Check out that it's like an old racing suit or something right there. That's pretty cool. And it's always fun to thumb through these old LPs. Look at Donna Summers, Rod Stewart. Check all these out. These are great. Get old soundtracks too. Very nice. I'm guessing that is a giraffe rocking horse right there. I'm, I'm guessing that's what that is. Yeah, I love these old Fisher Price toys too. Yeah, these are great. Pull them in this, you know, you get the googly eyes going on up and down when you pull them on the string here. And uh, yeah, we all had Fisher Price, didn't we? Well, that's different. Check this clown out right here. He's got a guitar. And, uh, yeah, he looks like a happy, happy clown. He's got a gig, I think. He's about to go and play some uh, clown music. Now, this is Jack's Cookies. One cent cookies right here. I'm wondering if that was probably just on a counter in a convenience store maybe at one time, a long time ago. But that's pretty neat. $69 for that. But one cent cookies. That's crazy. They must have been real small cookies. Vintage doll here is from the uh, 1950s. Uh, FAB Mickey doll or Mikey doll Mickey doll check him out original sailor suit too from the 50s I love this bull mold right here of Santa Claus check these out and I've also like the animatronic Minnie and Mickey over here those are so cool so the Mickey and Minnie together are $95 it's actually not too bad and some more awesome blow molds here. That's pretty neat. Look, look at the Santa. He, he's like looking down at these guys like, hey y'all, it's Santa. I'm here. Love this old letter jacket. That's pretty neat. Let me see. So it says what the school is. No, not on the back. And that goes for 85. And that's from, it says 1976. And of course, you're going to find your taxidermy. You got this deer right here. And you got this, I'm guessing that's a gazelle right there. And you got some fish right here. Those are cool. And you got this old stoplight right here. He's 175. And it still works. And check out this unique lamp. Made out of, looks like, mufflers. Old Buck Owens. Love that old General Electric radio right there. It's like 55. Um, yeah, we used to have one back in the 70s in our bedroom. 
and check this old tape recorder right here with the volume check the volume out and it comes with its mic also still intact holy moly look at the size of this guy and he's uh beautifully done too yeah really nice look at his eyes and check out all these custom painted saws they're 45 dollars each that's a really neat idea though to decorate yeah we got a cool in a shop too yeah really nicely done i love the colors too check these out they're 50 dollars right now yeah really nice and i love these old suitcases they'll have a lot of personality and it looks like an old lantern here too like for a gas lamp or something that's pretty neat and check out this old Philco radio. Wow, 35 bucks. I don't know if it works or not, but uh, great decorative piece. And if you ever wanted to own a cool telephone booth right here, check that out. Get that one. And they have a real nice one right here. Check this out. It's old uh, called Columbia too. Some old tandem right here. That's really neat. It's got the, the old baby seat on the back. And these are definitely different. Check these chairs out. Like rocking chairs, but on wheels. That's pretty cool. And check out the bed that goes with a rocking chair. It's also got a dresser and a mirror over here. Those are different. And check the, the size of that vase out. It's huge. Got these Clint Eastwood style ponchos here. Got that one there. And we got this one here. And I've always wanted a really cool picture of George Washington and I just thought these this one here was like 20 bucks with the frame I just thought it was really unique really different I think I'm gonna pick that up yeah I love the artwork it's just the stenciling yeah look at that that's beautiful just want something different all these old Barbie dolls right here on the wall in their original packaging and then over here you got to the Barbie Star Trek figures yeah check that one out it says Coca-Cola brand Barbie that's pretty neat. She got the Coke shirt on right there. And check out these Tweety Bird slippers. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Man, they're huge. They're beautiful too, though. Looks like they're alive. Seventeen hundred dollars. I don't know if it's seventeen hundred just for him. That's probably what it is. Seventeen hundred each. They could be together. It's possible. I don't know. But uh, these are beautiful. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cause that projector right there over 100 color slides and five film cassettes yeah it's pretty neat i do remember when that came out and check out these old uh, kits right here your doll cases and there's a what was the jolly green giant's little kid's name i don't know i can't remember <laughs> we got more barbies down here some more cat and hat stuff nice you know look at this old christmas sign right there and there's a kind of looks like mickey holding an etch-a-sketch but uh yeah it's a frame and this looks like it's signed by all the uh, Panthers from 19, was it 1996? That's pretty cool. It's like $45, but look at all the signatures you get on that. That's pretty neat. Check that out right there. It's an old Shoney's Big Boy sign. That's only $14. Not sure if it's original or reproduction, but it does look pretty cool. And check out these old iron skillets right here. Yeah, I cooked my breakfast on one this morning. I love this old glass, stained glass uh, lamps right here. These are neat. You got one uh, standee right there, and then you got one for your uh, countertop. Those are really nicely done. I love them. Love this one, too. It's a bronze statue with a little girl sleeping on top of her horse right there. That one's two forty-five. Yeah, I love that lamp. Old wooden mallet. Oh, that one is definitely a different type of Santa Claus right there. 1986. But I love them. Old Raggedy Ann and Andy right here just chilling out. Looks like that fairy's been in there a long time. Yeah. Kind of looks like a Richard Petty hat right there. And check 
check out some of these old bikes here. They're pretty cool. 1964. Very cool. Old Schwinn's right there. Very nice. Then up here, get the Frank Brizetti photos right there, too. Like Molly Hatchet album cover, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And I love the old fashioned root beer. That's what it says. Old fashioned root beer. And check this out this old uh, 80s poster of Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran right there. Ready to fight. Very cool. And check out this old clock. It looks like a Viking right there in the clock. Seen better days. It's been marked down to 350 bucks from 900 bucks. I think because his sword's broken. But uh, that does look pretty cool. And there's a little Eeyore sitting in this dog's lap. He still looks pretty sad though. But uh, yeah, I'm just checking out all these little shelves, all these little trinkets and everything. Yeah, you just never know what you might find. Now, I love the design right here. This old Pepsi bottle. $10 for that, and that's pretty cool. All of the etching in there, too. And check out this old Dunkin' Donuts coffee mug. I love this old Disney World coffee mug with Mickey on there. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Let's see how much he is. He's $15 for him. Then you got Minnie Mouse right there, too. And I love this old suitcase right here with the pattern like an alligator. And it's marked down to a $12.95 vintage leather suitcase. Paprika, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And uh, it's got somebody's initials on there, too. And Durabilt. It's made by Durabilt. That's pretty neat right there. But uh, yeah, it's out of Seattle, is what it's saying. And that's only ah, that's only twelve ninety five. That's pretty neat. It'd be cool for a prop too, um, for like a costume or something. Yeah, that's really neat. He's like this place is fat bubba. And as you can tell, it is raining outside. But we are here at our next stop, which is Crazy Cool Collectibles. Yeah, we're we're still in Mooresville. And here's the entrance of the store. You've been here before with me. Let's go inside. So Brad's here, working away here at Crazy Cool Collectibles. Check out the Christmas tree. With a skill, uh, uh, Jack Skeleton on there. I almost forgot his name. And there's uh, the thing right there with a broken leg. It's not good, but check out the wall. He gets stuff in all the time, so you got to come here frequently because he gets them in, and they sell really quick. We'll go here, check out all these walls here. And he's got uh, the Raptor here. Very cool. He also gets autograph stuff too. Check this out. You got Christopher Lloyd. And then you got this Michael J right there. That whole cabinet right there of signed stuff. That is really awesome. But yeah, you got to check out this. And he's got the uh, Sports Almanac. 12 bucks. The, yeah, it's old. It's like a uh, blank inside, but it's like a cool prop piece for sure. Especially if you're going to do uh, um, Back to the Future uh, costumes. But I just love this store. This is awesome. All the Star Wars stuff here and all the Simpsons. And of course, we're going to hit the Halloween room in the back. It's called the Halloween room, but it's the, the horror room. And he's got a bunch of Lucy's here, too. So slowly go through these. Sift through them because you're bound to find something in these boxes. You got all Ninja Turtles there, too. But I, like I said, I just love crazy cool collectibles of Brad. He's a great guy. And he's got just tons of cool stuff to look through. And also here, he supports a lot of local artists too. So be sure to go through these bins here. He has a lot of it's like custom artwork that you can go through. And uh, I like these right here. And there's some legends up there. Yeah, I just love his Simpsons collection. It's huge. Then you also got the uh, couch and everything here. You can do some cool photo opportunities there in the Simpsons living room. And here's my favorite room back here. The horror room. He told me he's got a bunch of new magazines in so i'm gonna have to check those out yeah just love this room back here you have the animatronics too back here in the back i don't know if they're on or not maybe they are let's say yeah he's on <laughs> there he is every time i come in here he's for some reason getting electrocuted but uh, i love the guy here in the organ playing right here so cool i love the chandelier man just just a lot of work have been put into this uh store that's why i love coming here Brad does such a great job. And of course, I'm going to be a little bit, I'm going to go through these magazines. I'm sure I'm going to pick up a few of these today. Yeah, he's got, he said, like I said, they're $10 each. He's, you know, he's got 
just bukus of the old magazines. I love it. Frankenstein. Let me open it up and show it to you. I think it's awesome. And look at the detail on that. That's awesome. I love the accessories too that it comes with. But uh, yeah, these are really, really nice. And I love the mother alien here. Looks like she's going after. Uh, I'm not sure who that is up there. Not uh, um, Ripley, but uh, it looks pretty cool though. Check out this with Jamie Lee Curtis, and Michael Myers right here. Very cool. And I still love this Twisted Christmas by McFarlane. Check them out. I still need to hold one of these uh, pumpkin heads here. at 75 for that one. Yeah, Movie Maniacs. I love that whole series that uh, McFarlane put out. And Entertainment Earth put out this uh, Wolfman black and white series right here. This is so cool. And I picked up some goodies here at Crazy Cool Collectibles. Brad's awesome. Uh, I do encourage you guys to come here and see his store because it's very unique. Very, very different. So, and I'll show you what I picked up too when we get back to the house. But, uh, coming down pretty good. We're going to head on home and hopefully uh, make it in one piece. Yeah, it, it, it's raining pretty good. Driving through the small town of Mooresville. I love Mooresville. It's got a lot of character. Love the Christmas decorations too. Yeah, I love coming up here and uh, do some antiquing and some eating yeah there's some good barbecue here as well so on the way home we decided to stop by a place called crafty burger here in cornelius really cool place check out the tv sets up there too but yeah i ordered a uh, traditional hamburger so we'll show you that in a few minutes and check out that burger it's huge you got the onion rings too and fries and they make everything pretty much here it looks delicious and that was my first bite right there. <laughs> oh man, it was good. And check that out, all of these old uh, Coca-Cola napkin dispensers. Those are really neat. And there's my food review. Boom. So we are back home and yeah, it got rainy, rainy. It started coming down pretty good. But I wanted to show you what I picked up at the uh, crazy cool collectibles at Brad's store. Of course, I picked up some more of the movie monster magazines some of the original runs from a long time ago. My collection is growing pretty good. I'm gonna get these a little, little bit better shucks to take care of them, but I just love the artwork on these all the time. It's beautiful stuff. So yeah, we got these at Crazy Cool Collectibles in Morrisville. And I also picked up these VR Trooper figures right here from Crazy Cool Collectibles. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So I went to a bin and just sorted all through it and I found these guys. So I was happy to find some of these VR troopers. And I also found this General Zod here with his helmet still intact, which is great. This is from the Henry uh, Cavill Superman days. And uh, yeah, General Zod. Let me show you with his helmet off. And there he is there with his helmet off. Yeah, it's just hard to find him with that helmet. Yeah, so I was happy to pick him up. He's part of that. When I was going to the bin, found this uh, General Zod along with the VR troopers. I was happy about that. I love the armor too. Even in the movie, he looked pretty, pretty cool. And I also picked up this vintage Fred Flintstone piggy bank. Yeah, no Barney though, but if I ever see a Barney, I'll be sure to pick him up. Yeah, I got this at the uh, Lake Norman antique mall that we went into that was converted from a, like an old grocery store. I go there once in a while and I find some goodies. Yeah, I like this one here. It's pretty neat. Then I also picked up this vintage Mickey Mouse piggy bank too. No Minnie Mouse, but if I see a Minnie Mouse, I'll be sure to pick her up to go with Mickey. So that concludes 2022 for videos. It was a fun year. We did a lot of stuff. We loved having you with us. Had a great time. 
looking forward to sharing with you a lot more good stuff coming up for 2023. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for joining us. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Just come by in our little venture, Todd Venture neighborhood and watch these videos. We have a great time putting them together for you and uh, just loads of fun. So look forward to seeing you guys in 2023. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Y'all shut up and just let me enjoy myself. Y'all.